Okay, you guys, what is up? The King of Lightning is here today to do Fairy Tale Chapter 317 review. And this week's chapter, Fairy Tale, see, this shit shocked the fuck out of me, alright? This shit shocked the fuck out of me. What shocked me was that n normally, normally, Fairy Tale chapters that are based around exposition, meaning talking, normally. They're actually fairly good chapters. However, this week's chapter, which was based solely around exposition, was a fucking snooze fest. It was a fucking snooze fest. I was bored out of my mind. The reason why I'm doing this shit right now is because I am bored. This shit was boring. It was so boring. I almost fell asleep. I, I, I literally almost had disease, you know. The Z. Oh, what? Oh, 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 what? Oh, future Lucy. Oh, my God. Rolled fast. Like, it was boring. It was fucking boring. It was so goddamn boring. I was like, oh, my Lord. The first thing here, right? Future Lucy. You get this. Why? Because I don't fucking like it. All right? I don't, I don't like future Lucy. Future Lucy is shitty. She is goddamn shitty. She's shitty. I told, like, I don't care about her. I really don't. Like, I told you before, and I say it again, okay? The only reason why she exists is so she could fucking die via the 10,000 dragons and thus motivate, like, Natsu and Lucy in some way, shape, and form so they can succeed in their Eclipse Plan Escape, whatever you want to call it, right? But she's gonna die at some point, so I don't really give a fuck, right? I mean, she tells them about how, like, she escaped in there after she woke after she woke up for like a few fucking days, and how she just randomly jumped in the fucking gate and shit, and then she wound up in that fucking time frame. And Akari is like, "You're not telling the full story, bitch. You ain't telling the full fucking story." Even Jalal, like one panel of Jalal, even he was like two things: either one, the bitch is lying, or two, she's a fucking imposter. All right, so so fuck future Lucy. Okay, what happened? What happened? Well. What happened was, at the end of the whole entire Future Lucy part of this chapter, it was like, Natsu had done like a head touch to her, and he's like, thank you. She started to cry, like, oh my god, Natsu! <laughs> and I was like, fuck! I wanna, I wanna break Natsu's neck. I wanna just grab him, bam, on some Rambo shit. Like, cramp, like, I want him to just fall down dead. If someone did that in the fucking fairy tale series, oh man, he'd be one of the greatest characters of all time. Of all time. Let's go. Let's go. But it's not going to happen. So no, we're not going to go. Fuck. All right. Now, the whole entire rogue thing, it's a fucking plot hole. <laughs> I mean, and the reason it's a plot hole is because it's very simple. All right. Rogue is a good. Rogue apparently now is going to get a power from his own shadow. And it's like, wait a second. Why didn't this shit happen from Jump Street? Meaning, why didn't, why didn't she happen earlier when he was fighting against Natsu? What the fuck? Like, seriously? He's gonna get a power up now? Now? Oh, Lord have mercy on my soul. And his whole entire backstory about how, well, you know, I used to respect you, Gajio, because you were a part of, you know, Phantom Lord, but then Phantom got defeated by Fairy Tail, and then you joined Fairy Tail. I was shocked, and friends, and then God was like, you have the cat, the cat frog. Oh my God, the cat frog, yeah. Oh, oh, radical, dude. Oh, the cat frog, yeah. Yeah, bro. Oh, yeah. Like, no. I don't give a fuck. It was stupid. It was lame. So not only do I not give a fuck about Future Lucy, but also this part about Rogue and his backstory was fucking lame. So we have a majority of the chapter, which I don't give a fuck about since it's, since it's Future Lucy. And then we have one panel of fucking Jalal, which I care about because Jalal is Jalal. In my opinion, second best character in Fairy Tale, period, bar none. And then we have fucking, well, maybe Latches too. And then we have fucking... Rogue's backstory, which was fucking lame. It was lame as shit. So the overall chapter rating is, I just don't give a fuck. I don't. I don't give a fuck. I really don't. So I'm done killing And I'm going to go right now and prepare myself for the Super Bowl. 49ers versus Ravens. Uh, yeah. And uh, yeah, guess what? 49ers. They're gonna, uh, hopefully, hopefully they're going to win. So, but whatever, King Lion. And I'm done. 
hopefully, hopefully, next week's chapter fairy tale is more is more voluptuous when it comes to Rogue versus Stink. No, Rogue versus Gajio. Hopefully, that's actually like a good combat fight because right now Gajio is like systematically beating the shit out of fucking Stink. Like on some fucking, like on some pimp status shit. Like fucking, like, like fucking nigga. So, but I'm done. King Lightning, be sure to, of course, rate, comment, subscribe. Be sure to, of course, rate, comment, and subscribe as always. Peace. Have a nice day. And fuck future Lucy.